So you said you tired of being single and you ready to get back into that dating world and you ready to settle down? Five questions to ask yourself before getting into a relationship. Five. Number one, are you ready or are you just lonely? Now, one of the biggest problems with getting into a relationship usually is a person don't know if they're lonely or they're ready to get in a relationship. Now, there's a difference between watching a movie at night and wishing you had somebody there to talk to during the movie or really want to be with somebody. There's a difference between just want somebody to go to IHOP with you so you don't feel as fat when you eat these 12 pancakes or having somebody across from you that you can communicate with effectively about your day and about your life. Being lonely will have you in a relationship that you absolutely hate. Being ready will have you in a relationship that nobody could survive in, but you making it work because you ready to make it work. A lot of people will stay in situations because they don't want to be lonely. No, be ready before you're lonely. Number two, are you ready to compromise on that thing that you said you'd never compromise on? If you're single or if you're in a relationship, it's some things that you're willing to let go because it just doesn't mean that much to you. But before you get into that relationship, are you willing to let that person go to the bathroom before you? Are you willing to let that person get the last word even though you are a long-winded talker? Are you willing to share that side of the bed? Are you willing to get up at 3, 4 in the morning and go to the kitchen and get that person water even though you love your sleep? Do not hop into something that you're not willing to compromise on. Are you ready to compromise all this stuff? For happiness, if you not, do not jump, drop. Number three, are you looking for physical or are you looking for mental plus the physical? Now, usually when it comes to relationship, this reason is the trickiest reason. People be wanting physical affection more than mental affection. Now, you need the mental to make the relationship grow and go further than it can go. But that physical aspect sometimes take over your mind. Because I know if somebody lay up under this, you ain't going to never want to leave. I drop bombs. But that's beside the point. What I am saying is it's okay to just want a physical need without the mental need. People will hop in relationships and stay in relationships just because he's slanging it like a pillow fight or men will straight up say they love a woman just because her ocean is the motion before you tell somebody i love you i want you i need you make sure it ain't that is making you say that number four are you hopping in a relationship to survive or are you hopping in a relationship to live in this crazy world we live in, sometimes we got to do what we got to do to survive. If you a person that ain't got nowhere to stay, ain't got no kind of drive, ain't got no money to spend, you might find your relationship and you might hold on to it. You are a tick on the neck of a dog stuck in the woods. And that's okay if that's how you survive it. Just let that person know, listen, I need somewhere to stay. And if me staying here, I have to claim you, it is what it is. Be honest with the person. If you are trying to survive, be real about surviving. Because you get into it with somebody and somebody give you their all and now all of a sudden you got that job you don't came up you got you a car you don't lost this weight you feeling great and now you're trying to go out there on your own and you leaving this person sitting there looking like but i thought you loved me and number five do you want a relationship because everybody else is doing it now you know in the bottom of your heart you don't want to be with nobody. You know you have no problem getting on Tinder and letting it slide all down. You have no problem going out by yourself, but all your friends got a relationship. All your friends are posting on social media. All your friends are taking these couple pictures and taking these couple trips and you just feel like you want to be a part of that crowd. Relationships may not be for you. It ain't nothing wrong with being single. It's a lot of single people. There's 8 billion people on earth. Every Everybody don't got somebody. Somebody gonna be single. And that single person need to love a single life. But for those people that are in relationships, you love that relationship. But don't you put down nobody else because they ain't in a relationship. Because I guarantee you, somebody in your relationship might be going outside that relationship, finding happiness somewhere else that you're not providing. It. I won't get out of your head. You're gonna hear what I say Gonna give it to you straight Just like Josh prayed Ooh.